Hello friends, I welcome you in lecture number 17 on basic probability. In this lecture, we will discuss this question which was asked in GTU summer 2022 exam. First, we understand what is this question about. It is given that a person hits a target with rifle in 4 out of 5 times. Another person can hit the same target with the same rifle in 3 out of 4 times. Find the probability of the target being hit when both try or the probability that at least one hits the target. Here we are given two persons and both persons are trying to hit some target with the same rifle. First person can hit the target in 4 out of 5 times and another person can hit the same target in 3 out of 4 times. That means we are given the probabilities of both the persons of hitting the target. For first person that probability is 4 by 5 and for second person it is 3 by 4. And we are asked to find the probability of the target being hit when both try. And uh, we know that target is being hit if it is hit by at least one of these two persons. That means uh, the same question can be asked in this way also. Find the probability that at least one hits the target. So first we write all this information in terms of events suppose we consider event a as the first person hits the target suppose the event that first person hits the target is denoted by capital a and suppose capital b denote the event that second person hits the target. Second person hits the target. Now it is given that the probability that first person hits the target is 4 by 5 and for second person it is 3 by 4. So first we write that information which is given in the question given that probability that person first person can hit the target is 4 divided by 5 and probability that second person can hit the target is 3 divided by 4. Let me check again. For first person 4 out of 5, for second person 3 out of 4. And we have to decide the probability that the target is being hit. So the probability that target is being hit is the same as the probability that at least one person can hit the target. So the probability that the target is being hit is the probability that is the probability that at least one person hits the target. Probability that at least one out of these two persons, at least one person can hit the target or at least one person hits the target. If at least one person hits the target then we can say that target is being hit and uh, this is equal to the probability that at least one person hits the target is given by union of these two events, events A and B. Therefore required probability is equal to probability of union of these two events. We know that if we consider union of two events then means uh, this means at least one of A and B occur. 
at least one occur out of A and B. So event A is that first person hits the target, event B is that second person hits the target. So probability that at least one hits the target is equal to probability of A union B. And by addition rule for probability, this is equal to probability of A plus probability of B minus probability of A intersection B. This is because of addition rule for probability. So you must be familiar with this rule. Addition rule for probability gives us the probability of at least occurrence of at least one event. Now we can consider that these two persons try independently the target is being hit by these two persons independently. Therefore events A and B are independent. Therefore probability of A intersection B can be written as probability of A into probability of B. Nothing is specified about these two persons whether they try independently or uh, whether they are dependent on each other. So we can assume that both the persons try independently. If it is not given then we can assume that both persons try independently. Therefore probability of A intersection B that is probability of A and B can be written as probability of A into probability of B and we are now having all these probabilities probability of A is 4 by 5 probability of B is 3 by 4 so now we can do all these calculations here we write 4 by 5 times 3 by 4 and uh, this we can simplify I can take LCM as 20 so here I multiply by 4 this 3 I multiply by 5 so I have 4 into 4 16 plus 5 into 3 15 and here also I am not cancelling this 4 so that I have common LCM and this is 12 4 into 3 and uh, this now I can write as 16 plus 15 minus 12 divided by 20 16 plus 15 minus 12 that is 3 divided by 20 and finally our probability is 19 divided by 20 and let me use scientific calculator and I find that this is equal to 0.95 so the probability that target is being hit is 0.95 or the probability that at least one person hits the target is 0.95 so this is the problem of addition rule for probability. Here we are applying the addition rule for probability that probability of at least one of occurrence of A and B is given by probability of A plus probability of B minus probability of A intersection B. And we are also applying this result that if two events are independent then probability of occurrence of both the events that is probability of A intersection B is given by product of their individual probabilities. This is if events A and B are independent. If events A and B are independent we can write that probability of A intersection B equal to probability of A into probability of B. So you must be familiar with these two results addition rule for probability and this uh, probability of intersection of independent events otherwise it is very easy question so this is all about this session i hope you like it thanks for watching